Hello, welcome to a new book for the week. We're going back to a nonfiction book, so we're going to learn some great information this week. And this book is called Who Eats Who? Food Chains and Food Webs. It was written by Patricia Lauber and illustrated by Holly Keller. So in our book this week, we're going to be focusing on learning what a food chain is and why certain things are specific to food chains and why there are food chains and all those kinds of great things. We're just going to read a few pages today and then I'm going to give you your activity that you're going to work on. Here we go. Who eats what? Who eats what? A caterpillar is eating a leaf on an apple tree. There it is. Later, the caterpillar is spotted by a wren. It becomes part of the wren's dinner. A wren is a type of bird. Still later, the wren is eaten by a hawk. Mm. Leaf, caterpillar, wren, and hawk are linked, are all linked. Together, they form a food chain. Each is a link in the chain. The hawk is the top of the food chain because no other animal attacks and eats the animal at the top of the food chain is always the last eater, the one nobody else eats. So here is your first food chain. So I want you to think of a chain that you might have, maybe a chain that makes a necklace or a chain that goes across something outside. And they all have these little links and they connect together, right? That's what a food chain is. It has links that are connected together by what is being eaten. So the leaf is being eaten by the caterpillar. So that's the first connection. The caterpillar is being eaten by the wren. That's the second connection. The wren is being eaten by the hawk. That's the third connection. That is a food chain. So here's what I want you to do today. I want you to draw a food chain for me and label it, okay? I want you to draw a food chain for me and label it. It can be this one. You can do this one right here. Or it could be a different one. Maybe one, because I'm also assigning a food chain lesson in brain pop so if for science time today so if you wanted to watch that video and maybe draw a different food chain maybe it's one that you already know but there has to be at least four things in the food chain and you need to label each one so I know what they are okay and make sure you include those arrows that show how they link to each other just like a chain does they connect to each other to show oh, the leaf is eaten by the caterpillar, the caterpillar is eaten by the wren, and the wren is eaten by the hawk. Thanks. I can't wait to see your pictures of your great work. Bye, friends.